Hello everyone, this is the comparison video between the Gigabyte P550B and the Corsair CV550. Both of these are 550 watt power supplies for your PC and both of these are 80 plus bronze certified. However, there are certain differences between the two which made me choose one over the other. What are those differences and which one did I choose? Let's find out. So first things first, both of these are from reputed brands, Corsair as well as Gigabyte are world famous reputed companies and probably in the 550 watt range uh, these two power supplies are very common especially in India. I got both of these from Amazon, the prices are almost the same however there is a 200 or 300 rupees difference between the two, the Gigabyte one being the cheaper one. First I'll be unboxing the Gigabyte P550B. The box is quite heavy, that is the first thing that I noticed. And the packing looks good. Let's see what's inside. Next let's open up the Corsair CV550, here they have just given that Amazon plastic packet so no cardboard, uh, directly the box that uh, Corsair gives, uh, it's there inside the plastic packet, uh, so this plastic film is there. If I keep the two side by side you can see that the CV550 box is small compared to the Gigabyte, so here they have the names of the product so, uh, and uh, this is 80 plus bronze both are 80 plus bronze they have the company name on the top left corner uh, as again as i already mentioned the parcel box is quite small compared to the gigabyte and uh, these are the sides side view of the box back view of the box just you can get an idea how the box actually actually looks so let's open up and see one by one what's there inside each of these boxes first uh, I'll be opening up the Gigabyte P550V directly after opening we'll find a Gigabyte card instruction card Next is the power cable. I don't know why they gave this 16 ampere plug for a 550 watt power supply. Trust me, I'm a power electronics engineer and I can tell you there is absolutely no need for a 15 or 16 ampere power plug for a 550 watt power supply. I think Gigabyte is saving some cost by having a single product for all its power supplies. Maybe some higher rated power supplies are using and maybe they do need 16 ampere plugs. But uh, this is uh, difficult to, to uh, operate because uh, UPS do not generally have a 16 ampere power plug so it becomes difficult to get this connected to your UPS. Of course one option is to have buy or get a different cable for this power supply but that somehow fails the purpose because they are giving a cable with it. If you are not able to use it then I don't uh, find the point of having that cable in that box. The main power supply unit is kept inside a strong foam enclosure and uh, we have four uh, mounting screws in a packet these will be useful to mount the PSU onto the or inside the cabinet this is the main unit next uh, as you can see these are all flat ribbon type cables here is the model number some graphic design the branding the fan and then there's this on off switch can see inside partially this 24 pin ATX connector uh, consists of uh, five one two three four five yeah five different strands of wires and they are not grouped together next we have this uh, CPU connector so this will be powering up the CPU of your system after that there is this uh, power supply for your graphics card so it means actually it's a PCI Express power supply so we have two power supplies so you can 
power up two graphics card from this PSU. And after that, we have uh, this bunch of wire. This is to it has three SATA power supplies. Another uh, bunch of power supplies for SATA. Next, this is a Molex connector, another Molex, and the third one. So, three Molex connectors, and this is for the floppy drive. So, all these wires become a bunch like this. Next, let us unbox the CV550. So, in the Corsair box, they are giving this European plug. This becomes a headache because generally UPS that we use over here, uh, the most common ones, don't have this type of plugs so maybe you need to connect a converter or maybe a spike buster or something like that which will take in this European plug and that will connect it to your UPS or your power outlet whatever you connect it to. Let's uh, keep it aside for now and this is the main power supply unit so unlike the gigabyte one this is coming in a bubble wrap and we have this foam and some mounting screws we have four mounting screws and some silica gel packet now coming to this main power supply unit these uh, let's first open it up let's remove the bubble wrap Let's open these wires and see. This is the 24 pin ATX motherboard power connector. All the wires are enclosed in a very nice braided sleeve and these keeps the wires together. And this is the PCI Express power supply. You can power up two graphics cards. This uh, next wire, again that is in a braided sleeve, this is for the CPU. In my opinion, it's the way it is written over there, PCI Express CPU, it improves the look of the connector. Next, we have these SATA power supplies, so 1, 2, 3 in this strand of wire. Another strand of wire, yeah, 1, 2, 3, so total 6 till now. Another strand of wire, so here we have 1 SATA and two Molex connectors and this is the power supply for the floppy drive. But one great thing and a big difference between the Gigabyte and the Corsair is that this Corsair cables are with braided sleeve and this uh, keeps all the wires inside attached together and if you like to manage your cables in a very proper manner like I do then you'll definitely love this Corsair one more because as you can see it looks good you don't find wires hanging around uh, and the motherboard and you connect it as you can see there is a clear difference between the gigabyte this is the gigabyte and this is the corsair one clearly on the back side as well you can see the difference between the gigabyte and the corsair so this is one of the major differences that made me actually go for the corsair one i first ordered the gigabyte one and then later on i changed my mind uh, I ordered the Gigabyte one because it was cheap. However, because of this difference, I changed my mind and then I again ordered this Corsair CV550. For this uh, European plug, I am using a connector, something like this, which fits onto my UPS. And on this, I connect the Corsair plug. And uh, it's running fine in my computer. This is a quick overview of the differences in specifications of the two power supplies, the P550B and the CV550. First, the power cable in the P550B, we have a 16 ampere plug and in the CV550, there is a European plug. So a thumbs down from my side for both of these as uh, both of these are not easily or directly usable with common setups that we have. Uh, next, uh, SATA power ports. Uh, P550B has 3 plus 3, 6 ports. CV550 has 3 plus 3 plus 1, 7. So, thumbs up for the Corsair one. Molex power ports uh, for the P550B, we have 3. For the Corsair CV550, we have 2. So, thumbs up here for the P550B. 
size uh, the gigabyte one is slightly bigger than the cv550 of course the width and height will be same because it will fit into uh, the standard slot that is there in the cabinets of, but uh, the p550b is slightly longer as you can see there is like a uh, difference of around 15 mm so 1.5 centimeter length will be more for the p550b next atx connector cable uh, for the p550b there is a flat ribbon type cable with five different bundles uh, for the corsair one we have one uh, enclosed uh, or one bundle which is enclosed in a braided sleeve so from my point of view i feel that looks good uh, again for the processor power cable uh, for the gigabyte we have the flat ribbon type for the corsair we have again another enclosed braided sleeve uh, same is the case with the pci express power cable another small difference that i noticed is that on the gigabyte p550b there are no uh, connector names printed on the connectors and in the corsair for the cpu and pci express connectors we have the text printed on the connectors in my opinion this looks a bit more polished next regarding the price i got both of these from amazon and uh, for the gigabyte p550b i paid 3949 for the Corsair CV 550, I paid 4,199, so 250 rupees more for the Corsair. So here, uh, P550B will get the thumbs up from my side. So I hope this video was informative enough for you, and you could actually figure out the exact differences. And based on this video, I hope you can make your choice as to which one should you choose for your PC. Hoping to see you in the next video that I make. Thank you.